What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and as you can tell by the title, I have some unboxings today. So the first thing is a Noveski rail system. This is actually a rail system I think I'm getting for my uh, PTW. I'm not sure exactly what I want to install it on, but it's the primary weapon system. This is Mad Bull created. Uh, it says Lice, or for Airsoft only right here. You can usually tell if it's Mad Bull that it, for Airsoft that that's kind of what they say. They always put for Airsoft only. It also has it, I'm going to do this without hopefully knocking something off, um, but on my PTW, yeah guys, check out, for those of you that follow my channel, this is my PTW that is getting worked on, she's getting there, she's looking good, but I have another rail system on here, which is a Mad Bull rail system as well, this is a VTAC rail, um, Viking Tactics, and then it says for Milson only as well on there, which I think is super cool. Next, as you can see, I've already wrapped this a little bit in grip stuff. Uh, I, I got a few different things at stuff. I'm actually at home again for Easter break, um, but I'm doing, a, I, just, I, I wrapped this the other night, and I was like, I can't do an unboxing yet. I really want to throw this wrap on though, but I think it looks pretty cool. Let me know in the comments what you think of the wrap. You think it looks cool. I think it's a good job. It does a really good job of breaking up the tan on here because it's like, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, I don't like the spray paint job that was done on my PCW before. Um, and it's all black up here now that I traded. My steel barrel, this is the stock system of barrel. This thing probably weighs like freaking three pounds, it feels like. This is very, very, very heavy. This is the stock system of 14.5 inch steel outer barrel. Goodbye. And now I have an aluminum Z parts inner barrel. You get these off of Red Wolf Airsoft. This is the aluminum 14.5 inch. And as you can tell, it's all black, 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 every, um, it's all black on the inside and you have all of it kind of like it looks a little bit better than having that one through it. I actually ended up getting a flash header too from Airsoft Peak that we'll get here eventually, but this is just a standard birdcage one. But it's finally coming together. You can see I threw that T1 on there. I have this magnet grip that I got in Airsoft and or Airsoft unboxing. You guys will see soon. I have a really big unboxing coming soon, so look forward to that. But she finally looks so good. This is just the mounting hardware for that rail system. Um... God, this is what actually what the camo form came in. I have have it. This is actually something that's really, really cool. I might do a review on the separate, but it's Magnet Tactical Camo Form Reusable Heavy Duty Wrap. So the wrap actually self-adheres to itself on here. So I cut little, because it, this is it's like a, like a really nice grip, I kind of cut it on here so that I can have your, your little, like it's over the MOE grip, so it makes it a little bit wider, which I like because I have pretty big hands. Um, but it's very, very nice, just like a little, it's a comfy, I don't know how to explain the texture, but it kind of feels like a more comfortable gauze wrap, but like, it's like got a kind of rubbery residue on that gauze wrap, if that makes sense. But yeah, I saw this left, I don't know exactly what I want to do. I thought about wrapping the whole rail system, but I don't know, because I, I want to run a flashlight on this side of it, I want to run a flashlight there, or if I want to start running, I need to start running dual camera setup so I can do like, video so I can see like you can see the BBs because my GoPro doesn't pick up the range on that. Two more things left. This thing is sick. This is the WEXDM. This I picked up from a guy on my team. His name is Dan. Uh, Call sign Jaeger. You guys saw his, his uh, LM4 loadout video or his LM4 but I traded him this um, for a flashlight that I had and this thing is sweet. Um, it comes with two mags. I don't have the second mag yet because he's there but I, and it comes with a, a little extended thing to make this kind of look a little bit better, but it's, it, like, when you load the mag, it pinches your hand. It'll pinch your hand, like, because I have fairly large hands, so it'll pinch the hand here. I'm not designed for a compact frame. This is too small for me, but whatevs. I like it. It's cool. It feels nice. I really like the two-tone. That's basically the reason I got it. He chromed the barrel as well, so it kind of looks cool there at the end. You can see that it's a little bit orange tip, and then he uh, painted inside the logos red. I don't know if you can pick that up. Um, but it kind of just like painted in the logo is red. It's kind of cool. I think it's unique, but yeah, I didn't have a pistol. I either have a lot of pistols as you guys have followed me watch, like my race, I had the I, two, three, I think I had three at one point, high kappas, I had that Limcat custom, I had another silver custom one, and then I had a stock TM 5.1 high kappa, which was sweet, but yeah, I have one pistol now. I actually have a KGW pistol as well, but it's kind of crappy. Last but certainly not least, this I got from Evite. This is a Code Red headset. This is the Recruit One Wire lapel microphone. Um, I'm excited for this because it's going to run with my Baofeng, so it has a Kenwood adapter. For those of you that run Baofengs, know that it's a Kenwood adapter. I got the cheaper one. This was like 28 bucks, which I think is very affordable. I wasn't exactly sure which one I wanted to get. Um, 
but this one looks it looks pretty cool. I don't know exactly how I want to run it, if I'm going to run it right side or left side, um, but it has a clip here that you can kind of clip wherever you want. I think, because it's easy to clip these on the GPC if I want to run it, like, I don't know if I run it. Probably run it left here, I'm thinking. I'm thinking left here. Mm, maybe not. I don't really know what I want to do. It, but it, like, it'll wrap around your ear and then goes in like that. And then you have your push to talk here, which is a dual pin. So this is has two wires running, one from the microphone, uh, one from the headset. Actually, where is it? Is this the microphone? I guess that would, where is the microphone? Actually, the microphone looks like it's on top of this middle piece here. So if I put that like right here, and then run this down to my radio, which sits right in this pouch right here. <laughs> Alec Mac 101. All right, guys, thanks for watching that quick unboxing. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know you guys like unboxing, so I went ahead and did one. I am going to be getting out the Iron Horse promo. I'm going to do an Iron Horse promo, I believe, where I use the 1.0 Mark version of this baby, uh, my new PTW, and I, or I think it, actually the Aries Amiibo will be in half of it because I shot. I used the Aries Amiibo for the first half of Saturday. But I will get some sweet footage out. I'm going to try and do just like a montage for the first part because I know some of you guys have commented really well. If you like montages, go ahead and comment in the description. I'd rather you do a montage, or if you like gameplay videos, go ahead and say, hey, I'd rather you do a gameplay. I will do gameplay. I think I have like a five-part series. But if you want me to do a montage before I start doing the gameplay footage, just let me know. This is Alec Mac 111, the Pew Pew Operator, and I'll see you guys later.